Hi, everybody. It's Allison Williams here, your law firm mentor. Law firm mentor is a business coaching service for solo and small law firm attorneys. We help you to grow your revenues, crush chaos in business, and make more money. So this weekend, I'm doing something that I absolutely love. I'm going to have a team of amazing entrepreneurs from around the country in my office for another one of our business retreats. And the topic this weekend is on people in law firms, which is one of my favorite topics. And I told you guys many, many times that people are the lifeblood of a business. So I want to give you today three truths about people in law firms, okay? And we're going to be talking about these, this topic a lot over the weekend, but we also talk about it a lot in the Law Firm Mentor Facebook group, which I'll tell you about at the end of the video. So truth number one, you cannot punish your employees out of screwing up. I know every time something happens in a law firm, we like to look at people and say, I told you to do it this way. How many times do I have to tell you? I was as clear as I possibly could be. Why are you disregarding my instructions? The reality is people screw up for one of three reasons. They lack the skill, they lack the knowledge, or they lack the gas. And for those of you that don't know what gas is, it means give a shit. If somebody doesn't have the knowledge, you can give them the knowledge. If somebody doesn't have the skill, you can train up the skill. If somebody doesn't have the gas, you want them out of your law firm, right? You don't want them running around with mediocre skill and interest in your business. And you can always improve that skill. You cannot improve that gas, okay? Truth number two, the reality is when you're speaking of employees, you have to keep in mind that you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. Now, what do I mean by that? I think we all know you cannot turn an Eeyore into a Tigger. You cannot turn a mediocre person into a rock star, okay? If somebody is showing up as mediocre, you know it. You know that a first year associate is not gonna perform at the functional level of a 10th year attorney. However, if a great first year associate is just not where a 10th year associate is, that's right. That's what they should be. They should be where they are for their level of development. So you have to evaluate people based on where they are, but you cannot expect somebody who's mediocre for where they are to suddenly become much better than that. Okay. Mediocre is just mediocre. And then finally, this is my personal favorite because this is about the most important person in the business, which is the owner. Okay. That's also in our people library you have to keep in mind that you cannot save your way out of broke, okay? The reality is broke is a pattern. You can be broke as a multi-million dollar law firm owner. You can be broke owning a five-figure business. You can be broke as a startup or you can have money as a startup. So you have to think about your pattern of how you relate to money. And if you don't know how you relate to money and you're finding yourself in a perpetual state of not having enough, that is a result of how you are engaging in the world. So you have to really plan to solve that problem. And if you think that you can save your way out of being broke, you are wrong. Adding more money to a person who has broke patterns is just going to make you more broke. So I'm Allison Williams, your law firm mentor. If you have questions about this, you want to talk more about people in law firms, please join us at the Law Firm Mentor Movement closed Facebook group. I'm going to drop the link in the comments. I'm Allison Williams, your law firm mentor. Have a great day.